Hey, what's going on? It's Pika calling in from Singapore. It is... Wait, what day is it? <laughs> it's Friday night, y'all. Um, the 1st of September. So I want to talk to you about my plans for this month. Can we do that? Can we talk about the plans? Um, let me recap today, though, real quick. Today was my off day, and it was a public holiday. I mentioned that yesterday, I think. Um, Hari Raya Haji. And um, I don't know. I thought I'd do something different today. So I woke up fairly early as usual you know I don't sleep I went to bed at like I don't know I think it was like six o'clock in the morning I woke up by seven and kind of like dozed off again and then woke up I was up like completely up by about eight thirty. so got up um piled around with a little bit for a little while and then I went and got laundry started I put rice on um got breakfast ready and kind of puttered about the house, you know, did all my praying this morning. Um, I don't know how many of y'all do this, but I know when I was growing up, my mom used to start off the day with, you know, um, budgeons or something or prayers of some sort uh, on a loudspeaker so all of us could hear. It was kind of our wake-up call in the morning on the weekends, whatever. And she would go in and she would change the water in the Samieta, which is our um, our praying corner with all of the, you know, the pictures of the gods and stuff. So we call it a Samieta. So we change the water in there, change the flowers in there, do our prayers, light the incense and the camphor and everything else. And so the house be smelling real good. <laughs> and we got that real cool, chill vibe going on with the, the budgeons and stuff. So I did all of that while I had all the machines going. So everything was working at the same time. I was trying to like get as much as I could done with minimal effort. So um, did all of that. And then once we had breakfast, um, I decided, you know what, we've been cooped up in the house for way, way, way too long. Let's go out and do something. So we headed out to Bishan Amokia Park, and I took a little, uh, little bit scooter with her so she could, like, you know, run around and play all day. And it was really nice. It was so nice to be out um, in in the park. The the trees, we're, both of us were really drawn to trees. So we were talking about, you know, the different kinds of trees we saw. We She got a little upset when she saw one of the trees, like, really just cut down, and there was some... Um, safety cones around it, I guess, you know, just to be safe in case the roots, like, came in or whatever with the, the tree no longer there. But we talked about, you know, the rings of the tree itself because you could see it cut from the center portion and you could see where the rings were. We talked about sap. We talked about how good some of these trees look like. They could be really great for climbing. She wanted she wanted to have, like, a tree house one day when she grows up or um, gets a little bit older and we moved to a place where we can have, like, a backyard and a, a tree house. And she talked about she wants to grow more flowers and stuff. This girl, I'm telling you, she, this girl is so amazing. She, um, for her birthday this year, she decided she wanted a plant, all of her own, so she could, you know, help it grow and watch it grow and everything. So we went out to Ikea and bought a plant. It's like a little money plant, but it's the one that's like, it's got like a light green and a little bit of like a whitish tinge to it as well. So it's like um, two colors and it's growing really well. So this is the kind of girl she is. If you ask her what she wants to be when she grows up, she will tell you very specifically. She wants to be a doctor and a chef. Um, but the catch is, the caveat for being a chef is she wants to grow her own food. So the whole idea being she wants to cook and serve food that will heal you. We're talking food hospital, y'all. <laughs> so I'm very, very pre pleased with my little girl. And we, t we talk about all kinds of stuff all the time. She's only six, but if you were to sit there and listen to her talk, you wouldn't, you would yeah, <laughs> it would blow your mind how mature this child is. Anyway, so um, outside grounding ourselves for the day, you know, just enjoying being outside, talking about life in general. It was just, it was a really great day, but we eventually got hungry. We went to go have some food and uh, headed back home. So once we got home, she was like, she was feeling already. She is adamant that she doesn't want a nap ever again. But I know for a fact, like, if you watch her behavior, you can tell when she's getting tired and antsy and cranky and stuff. And she, she needs a nap, but she don't want it. So I let her be. I didn't push for a nap today. But she was she was ready to go to sleep by, like, 7 tonight. Um, so, yeah, we came home after lunch. Um, she played around for a little bit. And then finally I was like, you know, I think I want to go have a nap. But by the time I finally wound down all of my laundry and drying and folding and ironing and everything else, it was, like, 3-something. And... That's probably a really, really bad idea for me to try and sleep at that point. So I just hung around for a little bit, watched TV with her, and then I decided, you know what, I need to get started with dinner, and I also need to get her hair done. We have a, uh, a teacher's appreciation uh, lunch kind of thing tomorrow, and she wanted to have fresh hair for that tomorrow. So 
um, I went ahead and gave her a bath, but she was she was in, not in a mood to go take a shower. She was really tired, so gave her a bath real quick. Um, instead of the usual micro braids or box braids, I did twists tonight. So I did like a high ponytail, and I twisted the ends so that you know they at least stay fairly neat and don't get all tangled and knotted up because it's the worst thing in the world to try and brush out her hair at that point. She will kill me and scream bloody murder that I'm tearing her hair out of her head. So um, I did twist tonight. After that, uh, obviously, it, it took a longer than I expected, and by the time I was done, it was almost like eight something. So I was like, you know what? Let's do something shortcut for dinner. I made egg sandwiches, fried egg sandwiches, and that was pretty good. We had some Cheetos left over, so she finished that off as well. So not the healthiest, obviously, but it was quick, it was easy, it was filling, and it's it's fairly good considering it wasn't like um, shelf food, as in like nothing from a can, um, no concentrates or artificial sweeteners or flavorings or anything else except for the, the Cheetos obviously that's completely artificial <laughs> so that was the day now talking about September I've been thinking about it all day today actually today's the first of September it's a Friday and I have so many things coming down the pike that I needed to reflect on what I did accomplish based on my goals at the beginning of August and where I am right now and then what I need to adjust for for September all my girls have been calling in and trying to, you know, to talk to me and get their head around what they should be doing next, how they should be proceeding. Just, you know, advice from both sides. I get their advice, they get my advice, and we kind of like hash it out to figure out what we need to do next. So for those of you who've been following along, obviously you know I set a ridiculous goal for August. Um, I wanted to do 31 blog posts. I wanted to do one a day. I fell short. But even in falling short, you guys, I actually beat what I would have done if I hadn't set that goal. I know if I hadn't set that goal, I wouldn't have written shit, to be quite frank. But um, I did. I wrote and posted eight. Um, I could do more. I haven't been. It's It's been quite overwhelming because I'm learning a lot at work as well. So my, my brain power is there. But emotionally, I'm kind of drained, and I don't want to pick up a pen and sit down and try and write any of those things out. So Eventually, I think I think by you know next week or so, or even this weekend, I think I'll be in a space where I can switch gears and write something and have it make sense um, because I'm getting used to the way we're doing work um, at at Scholars Inc. So that I think will work out fine. But for the most part, um, yes, I did fall short on my goals in August, um, only on that one on that one token. I have been continuously sending out my podcast every night without fail. Yes, there is no set time. I do it when I'm done with my day, which as a single mom, there is no set time. My day is never done. Actually, I just kind of roll it to the next day at that point and call it a night. So um, audio, done. Every day I've been, I've been systematic. I've been consistent. Um, what else was there? Oh, Instagram, I've been very consistent. And I'm seeing like an improvement in the, uh, the interactions. Like the reach is there. The engagement is getting better. I just need to work on my engagement a little bit, a little bit more, and then push for growth. I haven't been doing that at all. Um, for what else was there? I think that was it. Those are my like my three big goals. I've been maintaining the website. Um, I need to touch it up again because I the tiling on my blog page is really irritating me, and I really want to put in um, a page where the the SoundCloud player will appear on my my website so that you can go ahead to one spot and pick up all of my content. I think that would be smart um, in general. Uh, the other thing I want to implement this month, so okay, we're talking about September goals now, right? So I want to fix my website so that it, it looks um, congruent all the way through. I want to make sure that I add in a page for uh, my podcast so you can pick up every piece of content on my website, even though it's on a different platform. So eventually when I do Anchor, you will still be able to pick it up on my website. If I do um, Medium, you'll be able to pick it up on my website, stuff like that. So the website, okay, is one goal. The second goal would be um, to pick up blogging again. I want to do it a little more consistently. Maybe not every day, maybe every other day. But the good news is I have a project coming up. So I will be a, a guest blogger on the Crown for Success site. So um, I'm very excited about that. I can't wait. As soon as that launches, you will definitely know because it will be posted all over mm, all of my social media, so you know for sure. Um, what else? I 
I want to be a little more consistent with my periscopes. I've been doing them every. I've been doing them continuously every week, once a week. Um, eventually, there will be a syndicated um, program that we will be doing for Crown for Success. So that would be two live, um, two live video type um, mediums that I will be offering. So hopefully that will come through as well, and I can be consistent in that as well. Um, I think that's it for now. I, I just need to tie everything together. I've got all the pieces moving, right? Mm -hmm. So I just need to make sure that I pull everything together, and that way I am moving forward. I am I'm pushing forward for a little bit more. I'm doing better. I know that we're going to start doing coaching calls as well for Crown for Success. So, so my Crown for Success business will take off. And eventually, alongside that, being CEO of Rasath One, that will also take off eventually as well. Originally, I had decided I was going to go ahead and launch my T-shirt line this month, but I don't know if that if that'll happen or not. I need to get everything else um, down to a science first, I think. So maybe mid-month, maybe I'll aim for like September 15th or something to to go ahead and start that. So we'll see. I, I will keep adjusting as I go along. The plan is going to be the same. I will have all my designs and everything working in the meantime, but. Um, I feel like it has to feel right when I go ahead and launch everything. I don't want to rush everything and then like screw everything up at the same time. So just like I originally thought I was going to launch, you know, a course and make money in a weekend and then adjusted that, it's going to be the same thing. So when I feel like it's right, it, when I'm when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and launch all of that. All right. So recap, August, three, uh, two out of three, I, I met three, two out of three goals I met. Um, I fell short on the blog. So the blog will roll over to this month and I will try again this month. But in conjunction with the blog goal will be the consistency for all of my Crown for Success um, projects because I have three projects with them. So I have Periscope, Periscope that's already in the work. that has been going on for like a couple of three months now or something like that. Um, but there will be another show and a blog um, that will come from me for the Crown for Success site. And then on top of that... Um, I want to maintain my website. So those are the three goals for this month. I want to make sure that I am consistent and timely. That's the other thing. You know, I just want to be timely this time. So um, that's September pretty much wrapped up. I if, if I feel like I can get it together well enough fairly soon, I will definitely go ahead and add in mm -hmm. my, uh, my t-shirt business. And if not, I mean, hey, I just roll it to the next month. It's not a big deal. Um, but for now, I'm just I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't think I can take more than three projects on at a time at the moment because there becomes a problem with time commitment at that point if I'm not careful. So I have to make sure I'm in the right mindset for work. I have to make sure that I'm in the right mindset for my business. I have to make sure I'm present for my baby girl. So I don't want to screw any of that up. So I just I just need to like make goals but not make too many of them so that I'm not stretched thin and um, screwing up everything at the same time. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, um, in other news, I am slowly getting back in touch with everybody. I know I've been off the grid for a while. Um, I am getting back in touch with some of my Crown for Success uh, regional vice presidents that came in with my class, my grad, my class of graduates, I'm getting back in touch with them, I'm trying to get to know them a little bit better. I'm really excited about the new classes up and coming that's in the process of, you know, going through their, I think it's like the second or third week right now of, um, of the course itself. And um, I'm just trying to be a good, I guess you say role model or a good mentor so that if they need anything, if they want to ask anything, I'm just, I'm right there, I'm ready to help if I, if they need it. And um, just that in itself is a lot of a, a time commitment. I feel like I need to focus, I need to be able to put aside like an hour or so just in case, you know, the half an hour runs over or whatever. So I feel like I'm in the right space to do what I want to do eventually. And the goal still remains. December 31st, you guys, I want to be able to like double the money I'm making at work because my side hustle matches my nine to five. So that still exists. But September, I think um, I'm going to close out the third quarter of this month, basically. Yeah. Um, hopefully by the time I close out this third quarter, I should be in a space to be able to start making money on my own as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's not always business with me. Uh, I do struggle a lot with just home life. It's just the two of us. It's, 
a little lonely sometimes, and that's why sometimes I just need to go outside. Like, we went to the Bichon Park today. It was really nice to be outside. We, it was just the two of us still. It wasn't like I met up with people, but it was so nice to catch up with people. I mean, sorry, catch up with nature and be with her, like very present with her, just walking along and enjoying what she was doing, enjoying her commentary on what she was seeing as she went along. Um, I am trying to reach back out to my family. I know I've mentioned before that my grandparents passed away and my uncles have been like rather distant because I can only imagine how hard it is to, you know, come together as a family where millions of years, you know, we, we've been meeting every time we meet our grandparents were there our grandparents were there and everything so now it's it's very very different and I know it hurts them but I'm reaching out to my cousins I'm trying to get it together where you know my cousins come over every so often um, my brother's girlfriend is back in town so I'm trying to get her to come over every so often um, a couple other cousins who 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 I'm close to but the rest of the cousins are not so like I'm trying to get people back over here uh, my crew from Grand Hyatt they are planning on coming back over to have lunch and dinner and stuff so I'm the kind of girl who likes to entertain. I like to, you know, have people over the house, cook for them, talk to them, enjoy their company. And it really helps baby girl. She really enjoys that. So um, I think I have a meetup scheduled on the 11th for all my cousins to come over and their kids. So uh, the three boys will be over here with my daughter so they can hang out. I think I'm going to just, like, throw together some, like, not really hors d'oeuvres, but, like, finger food, like the stuff the kids would love. So I want to do, like, meatballs or something, um, mac and cheese, spaghetti, you know, just a bunch of stuff that the kids would really enjoy. And I know us adults will figure it out. Um, we want to do a couple, like, desserts and stuff. So just really, like, just throw down and enjoy the company that it will be here. Um, I have a cousin that I've been trying to get a, to a hold of, Midla, wherever you are, <laughs> when you have a chance. Just come holler at me. Come spend the day, spend the night, whatever. Just come chill out for a little bit. It would be really nice to catch up with you. Um... As for my brother's girlfriend, Usha is working on her dissertation. This girl is freaking brilliant, and she just finished up um, her master's program in, in the UK. So she's back home right now working on her dissertation, and I've been telling her, look, I'll get you a copy of the keys. Why don't you just come hang out over here, whatever, whenever you want. And, um, you know, because we'd be out of the house with work and school and everything, at least she had the house to herself. It'd be quiet, and she can, you know, she can work on her dissertation um, unhindered. So... Yeah, reaching back out to my RVP sisters, reaching back out to my family to make sure that, you know, that we keep in touch a little bit more, if, if for nothing else, for, for baby girl so she has more people in and out the house. And then, um, yeah, just the different commitments I have with work and with my own business and with Crown for Success, I, I have a plate full, and I'm actually really grateful for that. I'm grateful that this amount of work is giving me some kind of a structure where I can't just spend the whole day binge watching, I don't know, bones, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm actually really grateful and I'm very lucky to be in the position I, I am. It's hard sometimes where I feel very tired and don't have the energy to continue doing what I want to be doing, but um, I'm learning to manage. I, I really am learning to manage. I need to get a little bit better about the food situation um, because cooking in bulk is great and all, but I'm a Pisces, you guys. I crave different things throughout the week. So when you cook in bulk, you're basically guaranteed to eat one or, of two or three items that you've cooked over the weekend. And by number two or number three, the third time, you're just like, I want to eat this shit anymore. So um, I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to figure out what else I can do that would help out. So that's me in a nutshell at the moment. And this is me staring down the barrel of September. Um, I think I can do it, y'all. Forget that. Scratch that. I know I can do it. I'm going to make it happen. One way or another, by hook or by crook, I'm going to make it happen. So I will see you at the tail end of September, and hopefully I'll have a better story to tell you than I did for August. Um, yeah. So I'll catch you on the flip side of September. Not really. I'm going to catch you tomorrow. So y'all take care. Enjoy your Friday night. If you're going out, please be safe. Be, re be responsible. Um, if you're staying in, get some rest. Enjoy your weekend. I hope you have great plans. I hope you have some fun stuff planned for yourself and not just, you know, catching up around the house and doing extra work for, for work. So um, take care of you. I'm going to take care of me, and I will catch you all tomorrow. All right? Holla.